Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. Although we are coming to you virtually, our program will proceed similarly to how we would if we were in person. We will begin with the invocation led by the Reverend Tanis Kalisnek, Academic and Career Advisor, University of Winnipeg Academic and Career Services. Reverend Kalisnek will be followed by Indigenous Knowledge Keeper, Alison Cox, who will provide a blessing upon this ceremony and upon the graduates. Good day, friends. Thank you for the invitation to provide an invocation to mark this important moment, a day to celebrate your accomplishments and the new pathway that is before you. You are at a pivotal point in your life. You have learned a great deal in your areas of discipline. You developed competencies, critical thinking skills, all enhancing your ability to navigate this complicated world we share. I believe that God, our creator, is part of your journey. I encourage you to walk forward with eyes wide open, with intention and readiness. We do not reach accomplishments on our own, but with the support of many. All on your journey, your family, your friends, your professors and staff, your elders, and even little ones in your lives. Each of them see you as a shining light, the leaders of the future. You are the resilient class of 2021, and you are part of a University of Winnipeg community who values diversity and cares for each other. God willing, your education will allow you to collectively make our society a better place, sustainable, inclusive, and reconciled. The struggles all of us have endured over the last while has required kindness, discernment, and above all, love and perseverance. These qualities are an important part of your character now. We all give thanks to you for being that light. The future is indeed bright. So rejoice this day and embrace tomorrow. Please join me in prayer. Thank you, God, for Canada, for developments in technology and new science breakthroughs. Thank you for this educational journey and remind us that an attitude of hope is a present orientation of the heart, saying yes to new beginnings. God, we pray that doors of opportunity open for our graduates. Give each of them the courage to take the next steps with confidence and optimism. Receive our collective prayer. Amen. Uju, Ange Gonea send Disneycas, Maquadodem, Sagamok, Onji do. Miigwech, Gitchimanitu, Miigwech, Nakomas, Miigwech, Mishomas, Shoe Minishnam Mishum. Minu Padmati Zuin, Gima in Satyan, Gami Kimins Jayang. Thank you, Creator, grandfathers and grandmothers. Bless us, give us new life to have respect for what you have given us. We are your creations. Guide us, protect us, love us as we love. We thank the educators and staff for their work and their time spent and the care that they have shown towards our collective goals. We look towards our colleagues on this honorable day. We give thanks to them for their accomplishments. We thank them for their courage and their commitment and their determination. We see their strengths and their challenges met with equal sacrifice. We ask the Creator to help bless us, to give them new life and protect them as they forge new paths and dreams for our collective future. We also acknowledge the parents that have been waiting for this day with their encouragement, patience, and love. Creators bless them so they will know respect for what has been given to them. 
Creator, bless ourselves so we will know our responsibilities. Creator, bless the youth so we will be reminded that love is the only way. Miigwech. Gechi miigwech, ginadinanoa. Gechi manitu ge wasanan. Bemape ki waspanan. Miigwech. It is now my pleasure to welcome Kim Loeb, Executive Director of Professional Applied and Continuing Education at the University of Winnipeg. Hi, my name is Kim Loeb and I'm the Executive Director of PACE. Good afternoon and welcome to Professional Applied and Continuing Education's 34th graduation ceremony. We acknowledge that the University of Winnipeg is located on ancestral lands, one on Treaty 1 land, territory and the heartland of the Métis Nation, Métis people. We acknowledge that our water is sourced from Shoal Lake 40, First Nation. I begin with this significant acknowledgement to recognize the influence of the land that we are located on, its history, its present, its people, its relationships must have everything we do. While this virtual ceremony is certainly not how any of us envisioned we would be celebrating for the second time in a row, it does not minimize your efforts or accomplishments. This year, there are 415 individuals graduating from our programs, coming from 36 countries, including Canada. So it's both an honor and a, a privilege to stand here before you today. This was a, another year unlike anything we have ever seen in our lives, and we've survived it. So now is the time to reflect and celebrate your amazing accomplishment. You are now prepared to do anything you want as you have proven that you have it, what it takes to be successful. You are going into the workplace fully prepared and capable of remote working conditions after having been exposed to many learning tools and being leading examples of managing change. I have no doubt that you will be able to take these experiences into your careers and help organizations grow and develop in these areas. We consider ourselves lucky that you chose the University of Winnipeg and particularly PACE. We're full of gratitude to have been on this life journey with you as you studied at PACE. The staff and instructors were all privileged to be part of your time at PACE and we're happy you chose us as your place of both personal and professional development. Together, we have created a wonderful global community of people from all around the world coming together. You may have come to PACE to get your diploma or your certificate, but I think you got a lot more by creating so many memories and lasting relationships. For those of you not from Winnipeg, we are happy you made the decision to move here. For those of you from Manitoba, we are happy you came to the University of Winnipeg Pace. So please stay connected with us now that you are a graduate, as there are many opportunities to come back as mentors, guest speakers, or attend some of our industry events and our annual alumni event. Some of you will become employers of future graduates or even future Pace instructors. So congratulations, graduates. Best wishes for your future, and your journey has just begun. So to bid you congratulations on behalf of all our dedicated PACE instructors or staff, I have the pleasure of introducing our Dean, Dr. Hugh Grant, followed by Chancellor Barb Gamey, followed by Instructor Mac Valcano. It is a privilege to add my words of congratulations to the PACE graduates and to participate in the celebration of your convocation. The University of Winnipeg is extremely proud of the unique learning environment that PACE has created, and each of you has contributed to this uniqueness. Many of you have already completed a university degree, uh, have been in the workforce, and have a wealth of life experience. As a result, you bring a rich perspective to your academic studies. This diversity within your graduating class is further enhanced by the number of international learners who bring a fresh perspective to other students studying in Canada. So whether you have studied full-time or part-time, whether you are just beginning your career, or you came to PACE in order to continue your professional development, we trust that you have contributed to, shared in, and benefited from the rich classroom setting at PACE. It is the diverse background and life experience of its students that creates the learning environment that we celebrate today. And by that, I mean celebrating you. 
We recognize that your studies at PACE are simply one in a series of steps that you've taken in your education. We hope that your time here has been enriching, both in terms of your career and your larger view of the world. We look forward to the opportunity to boast about your inevitable success, so please stay in touch and continue to be a member of our academic community. Again, my congratulations and best wishes. Good afternoon, PACE graduates. I'm Barb Gammy, Chancellor, the University of Winnipeg, and co-founder of PayWorks. It's an honor to be part of your graduation celebrations. Congratulations. By reaching this milestone, you have demonstrated a lifelong commitment to bettering yourself through education. When you look back at this time of your life, I hope you remember the resiliency, strength, and determination that you have shown as you balance your studies with the challenges of this pandemic. These are important qualities that will serve you well into your future goals. Many of you entered PACE with years of academic and professional experience under your belt. And I know that many of you have continued to balance multiple commitments while completing your studies. I remember when I went back to school to develop management skills. I was a single mother studying in the evening over three years, which was a huge commitment. When I look back, I think to myself, wow, that was a lot of work, but it has paid off and your hard work will pay off too. When I founded PayWorks 20 years ago, I surrounded myself with people who shared my values, a commitment to community. And I also learned the value of surrounding myself with people who were not like me. I worked with individuals who had unique personalities, backgrounds, skills, and capabilities. And this made a huge impact on our ability to make good decisions and build better processes. So I'm thankful for the talented people I've worked with over the years and their hard work and dedication has been vital to my success. If you don't know what you want to do next, or even if you think you do, I encourage you to do two things. Surround yourself with a diverse group of people who inspire you and get involved in your community. Volunteering provides a way to give back to the community while learning new skills and figuring out where you fit, which is also so important. In addition to my role as U of Winnipeg Chancellor, I am involved in many community and charitable organizations. I sit on the board of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, the Business Council of Manitoba, and the TELUS Community Board, and I served as United Way Campaign Chair. In each of these roles, the rewards are greater than I could have imagined. Success looks different to each of us, but one truth I've found universal is when you find work you love, use your strengths, and live your values, the rest falls into place. So, love what you do, put your time and energy into getting good at it, gather around yourself people who can guide you and inspire you, and ask lots of questions in the process. You will find what success means to you. You have shown what it takes to be a future innovator, change maker, and problem solver that the world needs. You've worked hard to get to this day, and I want you to know you are being celebrated in big ways. Good luck. Welcome family, friends, and staff of the University of Winnipeg that are in attendance today in support of our PACE 2021 graduates. My name is Mac Bolicano, and I'm an instructor at PACE teaching a variety of business topics, including business fundamentals, ethics, organizational behavior, and sustainability across different PACE programs. And as with most instructors at PACE, I'm also a working professional, and I currently work at Wawanisa Insurance, one of Canada's largest insurance companies as their manager of sustainability. I'm truly honored today to be able to address this year's graduates. While this convocation might look a little different due to the pandemic, it does not make our graduates' achievements any less remarkable or this milestone in their lives any less significant. In fact, I believe it to be quite the opposite. What you as graduates have accomplished in the past 12 to 24 months has been nothing short of phenomenal. You showed incredible strength, resilience, and dedication in the face of adversity. I really do believe that if you were able to go through the challenges and difficulties of completing your studies during a global pandemic, you have already proven 
that you can get through just about anything a future workplace can throw at you. The world is now changing more dramatically and more quickly than ever before. And you are really the first generation of graduates who are best equipped to tackle this challenge head on. This fact, paired with the reality that Canada will continue to face a labor and skills shortage for the next foreseeable future, presents to each of you an inviolable abundance of opportunities. And you are exactly what this city, what this province, and what this country needs. Bright, hardworking professionals that have a wide variety of experiences and skills to help create and build better organizations and communities. Each of you belongs to the 10% or less of the global population that possesses university education. And most, if not all of you already live or will soon be fortunate enough to live in Canada, which is one of the most advanced countries in the entire world. The certificates and diplomas that you hold in your hand are so much more than just proof that you possess the knowledge and skills to succeed, but they are also a call to action due to the great privilege and power that they come with. I believe that this combination of qualities that you now all possess comes with great moral and ethical responsibilities. Among these, is to live a life filled with purpose and meaning. But most importantly, I believe it is our obligation to use all these gifts in making a positive difference and impact in the world. So how? How can you help build a better community and a better world? First, we should all try our best to focus on adding value to each other's lives and by helping others. The only way we can solve some of the world's biggest and most challenging problems is through cooperation, collaboration, and dedication to improving the human condition. This can take many shapes and forms, but one that I really advocate for is volunteering for nonprofit and charitable organizations or causes locally. It's a great way to connect with the local community, give back as a citizen and as a professional, and gives you an opportunity to meet like-minded individuals along the way. Second, build meaningful connections and relationships whenever you can, wherever you can. Whether it's your fellow students, supervisors, coworkers, or people who just work in the same industry as you. You just never know when you will find a new mentor, a business partner, or a lifelong friend who will support you in your journey and contributions. Third, stay optimistic and hopeful. You will no doubt encounter moments in life and in your career that will be challenging. Maybe it takes the shape of countless applications and interviews without landing a job or not getting the job that you really had hoped for. But we must remember that all good things take time and we're all a work in progress. For those that are new to Canada, the struggles you face are the same ones my family faced when we immigrated here to Winnipeg many years ago. I watched both my parents, who were successful professionals in their home country, start their lives over again from scratch. It was hard. There were many frustrating moments, and they made many sacrifices. But they have told me countless times that it was worth it just so their children could have a better future. Every time I reach a new milestone in my life and my career, I remember the sacrifices that my parents made so that I could have the life that I enjoy today. I know that your own children or the next generation after you will also be eternally grateful for the hard work and sacrifices that you have already made and will also make in the future. When times are tough, always remember why you embarked on this journey and I hope that this will be a great source of inspiration for you. So graduates, not only do you have your certificates and diplomas, but you have the most precious gift of all, the future. And while I don't know what the future holds for each of you, I do know with certainty that the best is yet to come. Congratulations once again, 
and wishing you all the best and good health. Thank you, Dr. Grant, Chancellor, and Mac for your kind and inspiring words. Each year at PACE, we recognize five outstanding students who've excelled in their respective program. I am pleased to have the honor to tell you a little bit about each one of them today. The Canadian Public Relations Society Award. Canadian Public Relations, sorry, flubbed that. It's a long word. Canadian Public Relations Award is presented to one student in the public relations program based on outstanding academic achievement. Sarah Campbell is this year's recipient. Sarah just demonstrated a strong work ethic and determination to do well in her study. So congratulations, Sarah. Next up is the Chartered Professionals in Human Resources Manitoba Award. The Chartered Professionals in Human Resources Manitoba Award recognizes one student who demonstrates excellence in their practice of human resources. This year, that student is Zainab Isan. Zen always showed up with a smile on her face, even in Zoom, something always positive to con contribute. And as well, she played an integral role in our Student Life Committee. So congratulations, Zainab. Next, the Connor Clark Lund Prize is presented to one student based on achieving the highest academic standing in the completion of their program. This year's recipient is Pamela Castro for Diploma in Human Resource Management. Pam is an exceptionally diligent and driven student who always came to class prepared and asked questions to enhance their learning. So congratulations, Pam. The International Association of Business Communicators Award is presented to one student in the Public Relations, Marketing and Strategic Communications Diploma based on outstanding academic achievement. This year's winner is Rebecca Peach. Rebecca was very well organized and committed to developing as a communications professional. So congratulations, Pamela, Rebecca. The next is the Project Management Institute PMI of Manitoba. They're proud to support the professional development and certification of project managers enrolled at the University of Winnipeg Project Management Diploma Program. The PMI Ch Manitoba Chapter Top Student Award is presented to one student in the Project Management Diploma based on outstanding academic achievement. This year's PMI Manitoba Chapter Top Student Award goes to Michelle Smetana. In the words of her classmates, Michelle became like a mother to them. She was hardworking in the coursework and she took time to reach out to her classmates to ensure they were doing well, both in their academics and personal lives. Many students who were new to Winnipeg were transitioning to a new life in Canada. Michelle was there to offer them support. When the class lost a friend and classmate to COVID-19 after a brief trip to India, Michelle was the first person to reach out to his family and offer condolences and organize financial support. She was the glue that held the group together throughout this past year, even virtually. So congratulations, Michelle. And, and to, congratulations to all our award winners on their achievements. We've now come to the part of the program that our graduates and all of those who have tuned in to share this special occasion have eagerly been anticipating. The registrar, Mr. Colin Russell, will present the graduates and our Chancellor, Barb Gammy will confer the degrees. Each graduate will then be introduced and a personalized slide of each will be shown on your screen. This is a rite of passage. It's an occasion of celebration for our graduates and for the friends and family who've helped them on their way. Madam Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate, I request you to confer upon these candidates receiving their certificates and diplomas in absentia, the certificates and diplomas for which they have qualified. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor of the University of Winnipeg, I admit all those receiving certificates and diplomas in absentia to the certificates and diplomas in which the prescribed studies have been completed with all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. Madam Chancellor, I beg leave to present the graduates for congratulations. Graduates of the Advanced Business Management Program. Ruth Ujiangumboye Adi. Marcella Alicia Ahumada Munita. Ariola Omomunui Ajayi. Asim Atri. Raymond Paul Limpoko Bernardo. 
Mary Elaine Suleancia Canlas, Camelo do Cormo Rolim, Mehdi Atahiri, Meng Gu, Fabiana Hun Yong Yun Cha, Gulzada Ilibeva, Kritika Jeteli, Bawandeep Kainth, Manpreet Kaur, Mabel Lee, Christina Judith Legarda Vilasis, Arvind Singh Mann, Varun Kumar Mandirata, Obiajeli Marianne Okonkwo, Namju Park, Jose Julio Rivera Penaherrera, Abidemi Raquel Rufus, Rishab Sharma, Simranjit Singh, Kuldeep Tiagi, Rafael Antonio Orquiza Aguilar, Jean Wang, Carman Jung, receiving the advanced diploma in leadership in early childhood care and education, Tiana Lynn Chiborak, Dominique Michel Colatrulio, Dimetra Hajidiakos, Janelle Watton, Yan Lin Yang, receiving the Applied Project Management Certificate, Michelle Pei Ang, Ikpon Mwosa Ayela Uange, Nina Alexandra Brick, Tracy Lin Ann Cornelius, Karen Tagupa Corpus, Elzbieta Donnelly, Tanner Lee Daniel Fontaine, Karen Olivares Garcia, Ignacia Isabella Gonzalez Araya, Victoria Maria Gravito Borges, Stephanie Aaron Lambert, McKenna Rain Langley, Oyedele Ayobami Lepede, Samantha Ann Shefchik, Receiving the Business Systems Analyst Diploma, Christopherson Ramirez Toledo. Receiving the Digital and Social Media Marketing Certificate, Raiden Javier Anibies. Andrea Alexandra Danilak. Janelle Marie de Rocigny. Elisa Fabiola Juarez Zepeda. Amanda Rose Legri. Nicole Jane McAlpine, Kenneth James Morissette, Jung A. Park, Ian Peters, Sherry Rasmussen, Michael Brian Ramey, receiving the Educational Assistant Diploma, Olisegun John Adeniran, Sana Akram, Christina Natasha Baraklo, Pooja Bardwaj, Amy Audrey Bird, Dana Lauren Buck, Maria Nina Masange Kuno, Marina Colette Diaz, Sarah Valentine Dover, Brandon James Drost, Marcus Hendrika Stikers, Ira Nika P. Fabian, Ramtha Garia, Evelyn Muriel Gillis, Sarah Kebede Haile, Elahe Hedari, Grace Enakino Igbinogeni, Chi Yung Jin, Xavier Jules Marie Kaminsky, Navneet Kaur, Naomi Rhonda Kitchen, Kaylin Margaret Kopichansky, Donnie Christopher Lavalie, Hannah Devera Lester, Krista Magdik, Paramjit Kaur Mann, Tiana Marie McDonald, Kaylee McMahon, Holly Misiavit, 
Ernestine Musso, Emily Joyce O'Brien, Oluyemisi Rebecca Odeleye, Diane Olson, Laura Ann Owen, Yona Marie Pangilinan, Sonia Terra Paul, Jack Clinton Prouty, Sandbax Karb Rakra, Abby Louise Raymer, Rainy R. Raven, Jeffrey Albert Rigaud, Jody Lynn Ross, Tanver Kaur Sidhu, Malika Joy Alia Siemens, Jill Marie Sinclair, Miguel Rocco Gabriel Torres, Melissa Jane Tribel, Maria Hilda Rosa Van Wellingham, Sarah Yamog Sisson, Afshan Zahir, Aidan Jonah Ziglinski, Rochelle Elsie Margaret Zirk, receiving the Higher Education Teaching Certificate, Justice Mathieu Henault, Taylor Wilson, Tammy Gail Wolf, receiving the Human Resource Management Diploma, Kazim Adedapo Adeyemo, Mariam Moreniki Adjusefini, Katarina Alexenko, Leah Ann Allison, Stacy May Archer, Timothy Dale William Armour, Opayeme Arowosei, Nataki Bacchus Etim, Amy Marie Bagri, Delinda Andrea Benitez Peralta, Nargis Belrazi, Valerie Joy Bermudez, Adam Bloomfield, Alexandra Grace Bokia, Genev Panganiban Bordeos, Violeta Margarita Canizales, Jennifer Ashley Carlson, Pamela Rose Vergara Castro, Hue Man Chong, Maria Nicole Colvin, Jennifer Iris Coyle, Sandra Louise Davidson, Michelle S. Duncan, Selena Danielle Dick, Anakeno Aruro Rivare Aden Eta, Jasmine Shane Endozo, Tiffany Shauna Evans, Sandra F. Alenzar dos Santos, Jorge Ernesto Flores, Brittany Lee Frias, Robert Joseph Furlong, Kendra Jennifer Janai, Suzette Gonzaga, Marialis Gonzalez Cruz, Harsimrat Kaur Grua, Maria Jose Gutierrez Bacariso, Crystal Allison Haddon, Indira Nadezda Herrera Gonzalez, Hayden Shearer Hood, Isela Myro Ibhazehi, Isosa Edith Igbinotson, Zainab Dora Isan, Emma Louise Ilagan, Hugo Chenyere Inyang, Marquesa Hunter Kennington, Komal Kaur Kamba, Chelsea Lee Nickerson Kostyuk, Catherine B. Kuban, Samantha Shanine Cornelson, Dale Rayburn Kunjapa, Yuk Yung Carol Kwan, Nalinda Lam, Hu Chi Lau, Erica Philippa Mardner, 
Lisa Marie Morris Melissa Denise Murchie Shaden Michelle Marie Naul Marie Melaine Negesan Frida Tolentino Nones Elizabeth Abiola O. Ogonsola Adejoke Ola Tunbason Café Atomoteo O Tunbaloye Gina Carolina Parado Penuela Caitlin Marissa Pawn Kevin Scott Peters Gillian Poiron Vanessa Ray Irene Papadinitz Anusha Ray Erica Lee Rexiedler Obate Milore Oluomeo Mikun Rotimi Fadipe Sonia N. Sharp Dominic Arsène Simab Natalie Marie Sinclair Tishona Janine Sikera Brendan Kyle Smith Jason Robert Stevens Talia Shlomet Siri Simran Taneja Dion May Tibay George Siklis Sofia Volososar Andrea Elizabeth Vach Adunia McConan Veldetense Charmaine Bobbitt Wilson Gordon Hiwat Fikra Wagderes Hoi Chuen Sunny Wong Liu Ching Ching Yang Jian Rui Zan Receiving the Information Assurance and Security Certificate Biniam Fazil Asres Benedict Pereira Receiving the Management Certificate Shana Kelly Andrew Cheryl Pascual Baltazar Seda Marie Christine Bissell Susie Rodriguez Cruz Lisa Anna Datero Pamela Cynthia de Ruder Kyle Andrew Downey Julie Ann Drostowski Buseo Elajuan George Wesley Ronald Craker Grant Lindgren Robert Manzano Caitlin Don Maruka Maureen Joy Musgrove Larson Sumant Parmar Louise Margaret Pierce Jennifer Plishka Karen Jennifer Ramayar Brent Ratzlaff Candace Ann Ross Antonio M. Sores Brenda Marla Tesler Jennifer Lynn Voth Daphne Bell Weimar Athanasio Zervas Receiving the Network Security Certificate Steve Ayodele Bamigboye Receiving the Network Security Diploma Ramia Ambatu Pavithran Amandeep Kaur Baines Simret Paul Singh Baines Ekta Bakshi Akshay Bardwaj Yuri Bueno Rodney D. Amato Camillo Ronaldo Candido Ferreira Nawaraj Dahal Caio de Oliveira Pereira Vipul Dua Neftali Jr. Lepon Ferrer Niranjan Narasimhan Gadapali Olawatoyan George Nishal Gorasini Barinder Singh Guman Eric Edgar Haas 
Filmen habt ihr Georges. Kasi Artikel Hack. Fuktin Huin. Imran. Gulchin Jalalat. Ranjita Karki. Mayank Kaushal. Benjamin S. Kolteski. Tarek John Lewis. Rajat Malhotra. Ashish Mishra. Javed Zishan Mohammed. Sampath Gopi Krishna Namajiri. Jaspreet Singh Nara. Oluwole Olufemi Odofin. Tulasi Ram Pagadiman. Rajesh Panta. Kitana Partiban. Akash Rakash Kumar Patel. Anjali Ben Bharat Bhai Prajapati. Habashak Kumar Srivastav. Craig Richard Tripp. Tavare Newton Tulloch. Brendan Liam Unruh. Tiago Peva Valley. Brent Wayne Lung Wu. Cheng Zhang. Receiving the Project Management Diploma. Adadeo Aziz Adeyenka. Mudassir Naim Ahmed Sharif. Rama Nahuja. Omosalewa Mariamo Ajibola. Mayar Hussein Al Masalma. Reem Al Rashedan. Lorena Guadalupe Andrada Santa Maria. Catherine Co Aquino. Daniel Bernd Strell. Radika Bala. Yelena Bugakova. Bin Day. Karisha Tanika Dillon. Amenata Diombele Kolubali. Ki Min Luan Duong. Eden Netomayafe Eta. Gretchen Lanuzo Garcia. Ramadan Gajama. Abimbola Kihinde Gold Aladipupo. Apid Gurung. Paolo Marcio Hack. Andri Harhas. Samson Egboke Ifidon. Shahid Islam. Adasinga B. Joanne Aruni Jayamaha. Bikash KC. Puja KC. Saravana Dipan Kanagaratnam. Ola Lekan Mosbai Kehinde. Pavel Kaklu. Jasvir Kumar. Udesh Kumar Mansukbai Kumhani. Shishank Kumnani. Joseph Jithin Kurakosa. Shahiban Ali Ahmad Lakdawala. Xiang Li. Te San Lim. Xiao Meng Liu, Yuan Yi Liu, Cheng Yuan Ma, Roman Malinchuk, Marley Liliana Moreno Flores, Michael Munoz Roja, Aziz Nizamov, Toritsi Ogbeme Debo, Ayodeje Opayeme Ogunlesi, Ehim and George Ohonyun. Chinato Elizabeth Okoro. Chukwura Christian Okpala. Abosede Kemesolo Omeniyi. Mortala Oyehe Orogo. Ivan Palanco Hisiano. Yonetes Mateos Proenza. 
Dira Naginbe Rana. Subrat Regmi. Boasim Sahil. Devender Singh Saini. Sanjana Sarowe. Jackson Shi. Ayubame Tametope Shonubi. Bruno Kuna I Silva. Aditya Pratap Singh. Michelle Smetana. Shashikant Jitendra Tank. Kristlan Francia Tolentino. Mohini Darshit Trivedi. Victor Javier Veliacres Morales. Fang Wang. Gabriel Antonia Wilches. Heian Ye. Tiang Jing Yu. Fan Zi. Jing Zhu. Monica Zimniki. Receiving the Public Relations and Strategic Communications Diploma. Ayula Abiodun Ajibare. Sarah Mary Campbell. Preet Chawla. Rajesh Chimala Konda. Alex Dodi Cupero. Darren Robert Day. Benjamin Barnett Deering. P. Mai Tao Do. Emily Marie Dufour. Nikisa Shantia Edwards. Nisha Lee Esmail. Harsimran Hunjan. Yang Lo. Ching Yi Joan Lui. Maria Cristina Moreno Sanchez. Rebecca Marie Peach. Lang Chin. Dustin Angelo Saison. Yi Hao Zhao. Receiving the Supply Chain Management Diploma. Olugbemi Dixon Akin Lusotu. Oyinkro Piru Bufazi. Adriano Cruz. Cyril Tsatsu Viv. Kamran M. Jewaid. Ranjit Kaur. Shwapnil Samir Kayo. Aris Lee Marcial Azwit. Neha Mera. Pedro Manuel Munoz Maltez. Purkit Rajinder Nagpal. Anwil Njema Ngombe Ngombe. Mario Julio Ninsepulveda. Olufeme Olosupe Ogunsolu. Shwet Fan Pang. Sham Nith Parail. Anthony Samaniego. Mukunda Shretha. Banu Bakta Sigdel. Ravdeep Singh. Harneet Singh. Pina Tamang. Fi Long Vo. Ka Wan Virginia Wong. Prathik Jain Pramath. Gurlal Singh. Jagdeep Kaur. Mandeep Kaur. Receiving the Web Development Diploma. Mayoa Alawale Ajamu. Eric Bramo. Ling Kai Chao. Dong Hyop Ha. Junyan Huang. Amandeep Kaur. Purnima Kandare. Anu Kulsretha. Shristi Maliku. Evelyn Alexandra Manosalves Castro. Olroviesa Chinedu Nurom. Sandi Pardeshi. Sagar Pramod Parmar. Simon Parvez. 
Pamal Nayanajeth Prematelake Jarabar Singh Hardeep Singh Saini Xiao Jing Shi Chu Chit Sang Zi Yang Zhu Jaspreet Kaur The Pace Graduating Class of Fall 2021 Congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. Okay. On occasions such as this, it's important to hear from the students. It is, after all, your day. So I would like to introduce our valedictorian, Aries Lee Marcial Aswit. Aries studied in our first ever offering of the Supply Chain Diploma Program and was the queen of networking while in the program. She worked very, very hard and she landed full-time work by the end of her program at Bison Transport. She was also kind, generous, and willing to help her classmates, genuinely wanting them to succeed too. She was a leader in her group. I'm honored to be selected to represent the diverse and resilient full-time, part-time, domestic, and international student graduating today. On behalf of the graduating class of 2021, we want to thank the entire faculty of PACE. Thank you to our instructors who are subject matter expert that contributed immensely to the completion of our respective program. Thank you to all the Julies, the Kellys, and the Nawals who made extra effort to accommodate students' requests, gather feedback, and carry out constant checkup to see how the classes are progressing during the difficult transition. We also want to thank our friends and family who supported and cheered each student today. My special thank you to my Tita Dang, my Lola, and my mom. Thank you to all the wives who entertained the kids and kept them quiet for the virtual classes. Thank you to all the husbands who finally took out the trash and washed the dishes to buy us some time to proofread and edit our case study. You guys are the real MVPs here. I love you, ma. Lastly, and most important thank you is for us, for making the most important investment proceeding to this graduation today. Our perseverance and determination resulted to the sweetest return on our investment. We took a leap and retooled ourselves in the year the world experienced countries shutting down, economies collapsing, and the worldwide toilet paper shortage. Give yourself a hug. We are all part of this institution's history. We are all legends. Looking back a year before I started the program, I was so determined this is what I wanted to do. I made the decision to leave my comfortable job of 14 years in the hospitality industry. Applying for the post-degree program wasn't easy. I had many obstacles along the way. The application process felt like a marathon for the Olympics. For the first week of the program, I had my first breakdown. I was stressing over citation on a writing workshop. It didn't help that it's been 15 years since I last attended school. I kept going. I kept my eyes on my goal, refocused, and gained back confidence with the help of my very supportive and encouraging classmates. I attended every special speaker's presentation. I attended workshop hosted by Supply Chain Canada. I introduce myself to as much guest speaker I can, and I try growing my network every opportunity I was given. Pushing the last quarter of the program, I applied and was hired at Bison Transport, one of the country's top 10 transportation company. I joined their operation leadership and trainee program. Three months after my hire date, I was offered a full-time position and now aspiring to join the leadership team. I am living the outcome I hope for and many more. At this moment, if I may ask the graduate to please stand and close your eyes and relive the journey that led you here today. Please think about why you started this path. Think of all the late night group meetings with your classmate and all of the all nighter reviews for the finals. Was this moment the result you wanted? Was uprooting your family from miles and miles away, spending your life savings to find this journey worth it? This journey was tough. But we knew if it was easy, everyone will do it. Now, please open your eyes and look around you. This is the start. We are all living the outcome we hope for. Today is our graduation day. We've completed our program. 
we're all upgraded professionals with new badge on our belt, ready to tackle the opportunity. Let's be proud, celebrate and showcase our extraordinary achievement today. In closing, I wanna ask a very important question. How are we going to use these newly acquired skills to contribute to the society? Whatever or however we use the ability we develop from all of the program we attended, I urge each one to pay it forward. In whatever we do, we must find a chance to help build up the person next to us, help build up the community, our city, our province, and our country. Please remember that together we are all swimming in the uncharted water in the uncharted water of this pandemic. Be kind and find a moment to rise and shine. A saying goes, life will give us lemons. Remember that we are professionals. Let's be strategic on making that lemonade. Congratulations to the University of Winnipeg Professional Applied Continuing Education graduating class of 2021. Thank you, Aries. Great speech. Graduates, on behalf of all who've supported your time at PACE, congratulations once again. We, are, we just want to let you know how part, proud we are to be part of your success. Graduation is a time of celebration. It is a time to look back on your accomplishments with pride and to look ahead with anticipation of what's to come. It is now my great pleasure to introduce our interim president and vice chancellor, Dr. James Curry, to provide some final inspirational words. Graduates, on behalf of all the faculty and staff who have supported your time at the University of Winnipeg, congratulations. Before I begin, it's important to acknowledge that the university is located on ancestral lands on Treaty 1 territory. These lands are the heartland of the Métis people. We acknowledge that our water is sourced from Shoal Lake 40 First Nation. I begin with this significant acknowledgement to recognize the influence the land we are located on, its history, its present, its peoples, and its relationships must have on everything we do. On behalf of the entire university community, I'd like to offer my congratulations to all graduates of our professional, applied, and continuing education programs. It is a privilege to be here to celebrate with you today. You have developed foundational, transferable skills to navigate the complexity of these current times, and you have a solid foundation to bring change into your chosen field. I know that many of you come into PACE with exceptional work experience and accomplishments, often spanning several countries. I know many of you have juggled your academic goals with work, family, and volunteer commitments. This is impressive. This kind of drive and dedication is what makes PACE students stand out. You are goal-oriented, ambitious, and eager to inspire and motivate each other. You have learned to think creatively, solve problems, collaborate, and communicate effectively with people from diverse backgrounds. These skills are the building blocks of successful careers. Your academic and career path is a curving line of learning opportunities, relationships, work, and life experiences that influence and shape you. It is not until you have traveled a long distance that a pattern begins to emerge and the culmination of your experience begins to make sense. So I encourage you to approach the unknown with courage and curiosity. You have what it takes to make meaningful contributions that have a far-reaching impact. The foundational, transferable skills you have developed give you a solid foundation to manage complexity and bring change into your chosen field. There are countless PACE graduates who have gone on to become CEOs, entrepreneurs, and managers because they left this program with the knowledge and skills to become leaders in their field. We have stellar instructors in PACE. They have supported you, encouraged you, and inspired you to push through the long hours of study. Because our PACE instructors are accomplished professionals, with strong industry connections, they are able to impart real-world knowledge, which gives you a competitive edge in the job market. The knowledge, insight, and friendships you have gained here will serve you well for decades to come. I look forward to hearing about the impact you have in your workplace, and I invite you to keep in touch with the university as you move forward in your careers. 
Your U Winnipeg community will continue to be there cheering for you as you go on to achieve great things and to make an impact on the community in your own unique way. Thank you to all the friends, family and community members joining us today as we celebrate the PACE Class of 2021. Thank you. Today's ceremony has not been a typical one, while very different from what we envisioned, but it still requires a lot of planning. And I, I would like to thank our media and video services team for assisting us through technology to come into your homes and allow us all to celebrate virtually today. I'd like to thank the many members of the staff who helped organize this event. As well, Mr. Colin Russell, Chancellor Gammy, and Dr. Curry for their contributions to today's ceremony. We will close today's ceremony with a traditional honour song sung by Alison Cox, followed by the national anthem sung by our registrar, Mr. Colin Russell. Our thanks to the graduates for making us so proud and to all of you for joining us today. We wish you all the best in the next part of your life adventure and we hope that you keep in touch. Thank you.
Strong and free from far. 